Hi, my name is David. Today we're going to do number 169, majority element. This is an easy level problem on Lead Code and we're going to solve it in JavaScript. We're given an array of nums and it, it has a size of n, n being the length of the array. Return the majority element and it says the majority element defines it as it appears more than n divided by two times. So it, it appears the most and we can assume that they will always be a majority element in each array. For the example, we have the array of array three, two, three, three occurs to MERS is more than half. So we return three. I thought this problem was a very good beginner question. If you're new to algorithms, I think this is a great problem. And it says you can solve this in O of one, but for, for today's exercise, I wanna do it in an O of N space time because it really, helps you understanding how to use hash tables or objects. And because when I first started out, I was really more comfortable using arrays, but this benefits of using hash tables over arrays. And this question really emphasizes why in a, in a circumstances when you should, you should use array uh, hash tables and how to use them. So just to point out this answer isn't the most efficient one, but it's, the idea is pretty foundational to how to solve more other advanced algorithm problems. So the first thing you want to do is that we want to we have to keep track of the the majority and it's defined by being over n divided by two. So we want to create a variable to keep track of that. Create half variable and that's going to be n divided by two and which is then we have to define the the length of it too. And next we want to create a map object. And we want to use this. So we want to see iterate through this array and then keep track, okay, three is in this. So three becomes a key. And how many times it occurs, we increment the count for it. So inside, uh, so to fill it out, we have to iterate through nums. So loop through nums. And inside this loop, we want to add the key and val and count to the map. And then we want to create another condition condition if the count is greater than half, we return that value. Great. So first we create the half variable variable that half equals nums dot length divided by two. Next, we want to create the map object that map equals object. And now we have to fill out this map. So we loop through nums for that i equals zero, i is less than nums dot length, i plus plus. And then we want to fill out this map. So map index of nums i. So we're gonna set that, we're gonna use the syntax. So if it's not in there, so map starts out with empty. If it's, this value is not in there, so if three is not in there, we're gonna set it equal to zero. But if it isn't in there, we keep whatever is in there and then we increment it by one for that. And then before we do this second condition, I'll console log the map so you can see what it looks like. All right, I need an S. Great, see, we can see um, two is a key, it appears once, three is a key, it appears twice. And we can use this because two is, we look at the two here, comparing it to the length. So now we create this condition if this value is greater than half, we return that value, we return the, the key for it. Let me change that to key. Nums like that. Great.
Great, so that's how you solve it. And for the time complexity, we are looping through norms. So it's going to be O of n, space complexity. It's going to be, we're creating this map that's proportional to however it depends on this. So it's going to be O of n. So this is one way to solve it. It's not the most efficient one. It's not the O of one space, but it is this concept, this concept of adding, creating a map and adding the values to it based on the count is pretty foundational to how to solve other problems. So if you don't allow other problems before it this way, it might seem easy, but if you haven't, it, it, this is pretty important to know. And that's how you solve this problem. Thank you.